Hi everyone, Adrian from Audio Excellence Canada. Hope you're doing well. Just a reminder, um, we are selling these t-shirts to benefit um, Red Cross Florida as well as the Eastern Seaboard of Canada. Thank you for that person who reminded me that we will also hit on the Eastern Seaboard. And uh, personally, we're also going to be donating uh, money to the uh, Daily Bread Food Bank. All of this is happening by the end of uh, American Thanksgiving, which is next week. So. Um, buy any of these t-shirts as you can see I've got one here that says audio files do it to music and Lewis has one that says audio files know how to listen contrary to what our spouses say and Christian says audio file um, the short t-shirts are $35 the long one is $45 and if you buy three your name gets automatically entered into the draw for a pair of the LRS Pluses, which by the way are completely sold out. Our first shipment, of which we ordered a lot, but only a bit came in, all gone. So in any case, we reserved one pair for the winner of um, the draw. So if you buy three, you get a chance to win one pair of the LRS Plus. Of course, the winner pays for shipping. Otherwise, um, it's our gift to whoever supports this very worthy cause. So again, uh, buy these t-shirts, support your uh, fellow human beings, and we'll see you again next time. Take care. But, oh, the, uh, the, the, I guess the buying information will be in the description below. So anyway, help us, help yourselves. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello boys and girls, Adrian from Audio Excellence Canada, Philip Lewis. We're here to do another series of your favorite videos, the unboxing series. Like, I normally don't do any of these kind of videos, but this is a special occasion. So this is the Audio Note UK Ongaku, the fabled... Wait, 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 let's get this straight. It's just Audio Note. There's no Audio Note UK I anymore. think they say Audio Note UK. They Even on the website it says Audio Note UK. They legally have the right to use this See, name. Th th this is what we do all the time, we squabble all day long. Anyway, point is, is the Ongaku, which is a fabled integrated amp. When they first came out back, what, 30 some odd years ago? 40 years ago. It was, it, I remember the reviews and, and the people who had, had listened to it, um, basically it was like end game integrated amp. This it is was as one good of the first amps, gone. for instance, to use a 211 as yeah. a power tube. Yeah. This, this um, integrated amplifier is literally legendary. And over the years, although I'm sure they've made improvements, they continue to call it the Ongaku. So today we and it's have, worth its weight in silver. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally, it's silver inside. literally, today we have one that we're going to unbox and show you. This was actually shown at the Toronto Audio Fest last weekend. Today is October the 26th, uh, Wednesday. Yeah, it's been a few days. So uh, uh, it was unboxed and shown at the Toronto Audio Fest. But it, was it wasn't not played. played. Yeah. yeah. So we will get the uh, pleasure of breaking it in and uh, doing a review for you. Once the factory is insistent that at least 225 hours of yeah. music time on this before we're even allowed to tell people that we have it here. So because of my orneriness, when somebody tells me it has to be 225 hours, we're going to review it at 200 hours. Just to say, screw you. Not happening. 200 hours. And then we will actually break it until 226 hours and go, oh, it actually did oh make a difference. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's a Chinese way. Got to do it. Okay, here we go. Even though Lewis isn't Chinese. <laughs> Lewis probably has some Chinese blood. He's Jamaican. Oh, he's Jamaican, right? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. We screwed around a lot. Okay, so first of all, my look first at, impression. Look at the beautiful cardboard. Look at this. Shittiest cardboard in the world. I mean, seriously, guys. For this kind of money, packaging has got to be a lot Extra there. flaps. Extra flaps. Look, I mean, the moment you fold it, it makes a crease. And if you do it a couple more times, Look, this, this will break apart. Foam. Foam. <laughs> so, I mean, be careful about this. the reason that we're being a bit uh, uh, catty and, and persnickety about it is because this is a tremendously, supposedly, a tremendously good amplifier. It's not small. And it costs a ton of money. So, I would expect the packaging the to be a bit here. better. So okay, so, well, let's take this out first, oh. and then we can, sh we can show. So as usual, whenever you take um, two power amplifiers out, 
always remember that the weight is all uh, um, uh, mostly centered around where the transformers are. So be very careful. So just now, for example, that's when, not too when bad Luz because it's me. centrally located, right? Yeah. So it's yeah. So when when Luz was helping me, I didn't have a good enough grip because of the plastic. So it's a little bit slippery. So be careful uh, when you, if you buy something like this or any tube amplifier for the matter, always be careful. Now look at that. That's copper. That's gorgeous. And it's actually physically quite big. I didn't, I didn't think it was this big, but it is quite well, big. That tube is like this tall, so it's going to okay. be. Where's the? Can you pass me the box? This is where you connect your speaker cables. Oh, look um, instructions. Oh no no this 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 is a certificate. certificate? Yes. Okay. Thank you for purchasing this Audio Note Level Five product. Level Five. Okay, so this is the tube. The power tube. Oh look, there's a $225,000 power cord. Look at that. <laughs> look how expensive that power cord is. So for you out there, $220,000 amplifier comes with a $5 power cord. That, look at that tube. That is, that is remarkable. Don't get any fingerprints on it anymore. No, here. no, I don't. I only touched it over there. Anyway, is so, that like gold, gold plated? I guess. So be very careful when you insert this tube. Um, the the pins look like they're the same size, but they're not. So be very very careful when you put it in. So that's what the output tube like. We'll we'll put it in and then show you the end result shortly. And then these are the other two. Are they right. new old stock? I don't know. What does it say on here? It says not match. Not match. Not match. Okay, so we're gonna insert it and then we'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's done. One eternity later. Okay, so now all the tubes are installed. This is what it looks like. Uh, it's literally absolutely gorgeous. It's, it's beautifully done. Um, so while the packaging is not that great, um, the amplifier is stunning. And I'm looking forward to hearing what it looks like. It's it's quite big. Let me give you the dimensions. Um, okay, for the rest of the world, 305 millimeters high. Um, it's 305 millimeters wide and 640 millimeters deep. And for North America and Canada, well, U.S. and Canada, it's 12 inches high, 12 inches wide, and 25 inches deep. So you're going to need a, a, a really deep stand if you want to put this on a stand or, of course, you can put it on the carpet. Um, as I mentioned before, these are the binding posts. Um, that's, the grounding pin. Yeah, grounding pin, and then where's the input? On the front right oh, side. Oh, over here. Traditionally, okay. the Yondaku has had the inputs on that side. So let me turn it around so you can see it. This is uh, the connectors. And I believe these are all silver or silver plated. Uh, we'll have to look. So if they tarnish soon enough, then we'll know. <laughs> we'll have to look deeper. Um, pass me my piece. I'll see if there's more. Uh, okay, so some of the details. This is rated pure class A, single-ended 211 tubes, audio note silver wire for all internal wiring, <coughs> including the audio note transformers and power supply connections. So all the wiring in here, all silver. Um, audio note 2 watt tantalum resistors, black gate or audio note silver foil capacitors, zero feedback, tube rectification, <coughs> excuse me, 20 watts per channel. Um, and I've given you the detail, and it's 220,000 Canadian. That's Canadian dollars, that's about five dollars US. 220,000 Canadian. I think I'm gonna faint. How am I gonna pay for this? So, anyway, um, if nothing else, I'm actually really looking forward to hearing this because we did an audio note review. We won't spoil it for you uh, fairly did, recently. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, oh, well, you already did? No, no, I didn't say anything. Okay, so hopefully the review will come out fairly soon. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. As usual, the shenanigans. Um, we will unbox the audio note speakers next. Should we do it together or do it as a separate video? Well, Let's do it together. It's part of the system. Let's do it. Make it one long video. Uh, okay. So, folks, here's the here's the Mega Buck Macintosh power cord, just to show you, and it's better Macintosh? than the Audio Note. Oh, one. okay. This is the Macintosh one, and the Audio Note one is not quite as good as this. <laughs> no, it should be so. Yeah. Hello, everyone.
Adrian from Audio Excellence again. So now this is part two of our unboxing. That's Stooge 2, that's Stooge two. <laughs> uh, Unboxing of the Audio Note Level 5 system. This is the N E S P X H E SIG. Yeah. So for signature. I, I, I have no idea what all these things mean. <laughs> HE might be high efficiency. SPX, no idea. Uh, that's probably the driver inside of it. I think that's Audio Note. Oh, there you go. <laughs> audio Note. Apple. So. Hey, <laughs> Apple. Okay, so we're going to unbox this. And by the way, this speaker, um, this model comes with an external crossover, which we will unbox shortly. And for those of you who were at the Toronto Audio Fest last week, uh, you've already seen this? Yeah, it was on static display. It's brand new, so they couldn't play it really. Oh, so we need to... Oh, they did a good job of repacking it. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Okay, so let's put this down. Put... Oh, look at that finish. Yes. It's, this it's is the first good. time I'm seeing it. This is I the bottom. This is the bottom. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to look at well, look, the... Well, look, SP. you can see, you that's see the ply. wood here? Yeah, the that's plywood. birch ply. That's birch ply. But that finish is gorgeous. Well... That's as good as any piano I've ever seen. That is nice. Look at that. I suppose this is all silver wiring. I can see myself in the reflection. <laughs> That's a beautiful finish. Like, seriously, that well, is yeah, a you should beautiful see. It's finish. All, it's all ply, and this is... Wow. Look, silver connectors. Huh, Louis? Beautiful. That is a beautiful Yeah, finish. I saw it at the show, and it was stunning. The finish is stunning. That's a nice thick layer of whatever the top is, lacquer? Whatever. Yeah. Well, there's multiple layers of lacquer on it, probably. That's a beautiful finish. And I like the uh, I like the stain. They, I, they call it apple, but I like the wood, the veneer. Okay, so these are the wires, and as you can see, it's indicating low frequency plus, low frequency minus, high frequency plus, High frequency minus. Okay, so that's what the speaker looks like. You just look the. So okay. there's a port at the bottom. There's multiple multiple thicknesses. Like look how thick this is. Yeah, that's the ply. Okay, now let's open up the crossover. Did anybody? Okay, there it is. This is the crossover, and we're about to open. It doesn't say crossover. It <laughs> just says. I haven't seen this yet. We have not opened it. We not opened at the show. Oh, it wasn't. No. Never opened it. Now somebody explain me, explain me <laughs> why knife is spelled knife. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> While we're doing Entomology this. Etymology of English words is a complicated and sorted, you know. Uh, are, you, are you now going to say it was French? <laughs> it might have been. Could have been German. Knife. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if the finish is as gorgeous as the speaker. So this is the first time Electronic. we're seeing this. In fact, first time anybody in Canada is seeing this, I think. All right. Um, so there's... Oh, there's no, there's no special finishing on it. It's just a metal box. Uh, just a metal box. Oh, 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 oh it's nice. Shiny. It's Look at the gold. front. It's nice. Yeah. It's got a nice metal plaque with nice gold lettering. Although, whoa, Philip, you were in, you were in a um, uh, uh, production of, yeah. um, of, of um, I was a graphic designer. Yes, yes. What is that kind of font called? Isn't that like metro metropolitan? Oh, uh, well, I don't know which one it is. It's some sort of similar 20s, to like a um, you know roaring twenties type font. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like um, what do you call that in in Florida? Like South Beach? What do you call that? Art Deco. It's, art, it's definitely Art Deco-ish. Yeah. Oh, look, it has jumpers. It's For what? Jumpers. Input? Yeah. Oh, I see, I see. So if you're using your amplifier output in here, uh, you just connect it to one of these, and then an output goes there. Okay, so your high frequency and low frequency. So these are where the wires from the speaker connect. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. So, so yeah, so your cable would go in this one, and this would come out to in, to the uh, cables that are attached to the speaker. And then obviously you have a box for each, you have a crossover for each speaker. Uh, awesome. Actually, it wasn't all that obvious because I'm looking at this, at first I'm thinking, okay, where's the other speaker I connect to? <laughs> <laughs> Not that obvious. Um, okay, so anyway, that's Whoa. one speaker. So let me give you some details about the speaker. 
Um, the website doesn't go into a lot of details about what, uh, as I mentioned, the, the nomenclature means. Um, all I know, according to the website, it's a one inch tweeter, eight inch woofer, and I think that's a hemp driver. Um, I believe it's a silver voice coil for the woofer. So, um, some light on that. 98 dB sensitivity, 6 ohms, rated frequency response, which apparently is the same for all the different models. If you look at the specifications, except for sensitivity, they all appear to be the same. 18 to 23 kilohertz, plus or minus 6 dB in room, external crossover I mentioned. Now, how much do you think the speaker, well, you guys probably already know. It's... A lot. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is. It is. It is. Drum roll. Da -da 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 -da. Seventy-two thousand Canadian. Let, let, let's do that again. Seventy-two thousand Canadian. That's only a third of what the Angaku is. And oh, by the way, the story was um, when the Canadian distributor uh, ordered the Angaku for us. Uh, the factory said, no, no, you can't just buy the amplifier. You don't have proper matching speakers to go with them. And um, so uh, uh, she said, well, what speakers do you have? We have to have them for the show. We want to display it. We want to make a big splash on this thing. So they said, well, we have this. This is not even their top of the line for the series. But we have this, and it will work. It's good enough for the so amplifier. They have a version of this as like... Even more ridiculous yeah, than... Even more insanely expensive, but supposedly really, really, really good. I don't think, for example, these come with the El Nico... Um, drive, drive uh, magnets? Magnets, yeah. I don't think they do. But anyway, so she said, screw it. Give me a pair. So Lily, with incredible respect to her, she has balls bigger than most guys I know, including me. I would never have done that. I would have gone, oh, I don't know, i got to okay, think about so this. you want all the funny thing? She, yeah. That's a crossover for one speaker. Yeah, yeah, just one speaker. Where's I know. the other one? What? Oh, she probably still has it. She might still have it. Yeah, I yeah. never saw a second box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she might still have it. Hey, we will hmm. have to let her know. Anyway, kudos to her. She's got some serious... Cojones. Co oh, yeah. To, to, to just order wow. it, sight and, and see. And she has nothing on Never her. heard it. <laughs> but we are going to be uh, uh, Audio Notes uh, premium dealers, so we're going to have it. And uh, if you are in the market for this kind of a system, you now know where you can come and hear them. Uh, uh, but as usual, all seriousness, something like this, if you want to hear them, you got to let us know ahead of time. We don't always have them on display or, or, or playing just because the store is always in a constant state of flux. People come in to listen and, to different and things. And we will definitely not, if these are already like put aside on static display, we will definitely not just move them so that someone can listen to them. because. To touch them is actually to damage them. So let's be careful about it, boys and girls. <laughs> anyway, so if you're serious and you, you are in the market for something like this, please get in touch. Uh, we're happy to play them for you. Uh, uh, but don't just drop in because chances are they may not be playing or, or, or uh, being broken in. By the time you watch this, they may already have been broken in. We'll see. Anyway, again, thanks for watching this. Uh, we're very excited, as you can tell. Adrian from Audio Accents Canada, Philip, Lewis, and Christian behind the camera. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.